What's going on, people? Welcome to episode seven of the Trinity. Episode 10. There's missing episodes that you missed that we recorded on the sly. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I just I'm said nice. Proper, yeah. I'm in a weird mood right now. Um, yeah. And I can't what do nothing about you? it. I told my wife, I'm so sorry. I'm going to be really annoying. Um, you got to bear with me today because I'm just, hey, I just feel like this. KG, tell Flex what happened with your wife the other day when she called into the show. Oh, yeah. She called in. Well, I called her to try and get her to support me. Um, <laughs> with Owen, because Owen's taken Owen's is I said it's been a year and a half since I invite Owen to my house, and, yeah, it has, that, and that's and that's a lie, so that, that is a lie. a lie. I believe so that's a lie. We're starting off on a lie, but carry on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, um, she um, <laughs> well, anyway, don't care just ignore it, just ignore that's that. Right. Yeah, yeah, the lie, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, she um, she pulled up and then she was like, It's nine months, it was actually nine months, which is still a long time. And then she said, you know what, forget um, forget you. I'll just go to dinner with Owen because he's annoying, basically, along them lines. And I was like, books, this is the problem. Then I got into a diatribe of how I'm sick of this. Every time I try to, like, get someone to back me, when me and you argue, I try to bring Owen into the chat. Owen doesn't help me. Books doesn't help me. I'm basically... Yeah. Have you not thought of a new problem then? Well, because I, I think I give off this energy of, a lot of confidence and a, just a strongness and that, that people don't need to help me and I need help. And honestly, oh, man, I think he, he, was <laughs> more, he, was more, he was more angry than he let on as well because he sort of let it yep. simmer for a little bit and then he went, I know she's on a work call and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to yeah. interrupt it and I'm going to be the great acting husband of going, can I get you a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of coffee? All that kind of stuff. He was honestly... Bro, you <laughs> he know was, when the work calls? He was you simmering. know the work calls when you step in there? Now, I did go in there as well and they love me at a workplace. It's like, because I'm the guy from TV in it. So I was like, oh, telling me. Yeah, that celebrity that you're telling us about, you're that to them. And I go in there, I'm like, <laughs> oh, books, anything all right? I do this, this is the voice as well. Do you need a coffee or anything? Because I just want to make sure that. You never have that voice in normal life. <laughs> how long is that meeting going to be? How long is that meeting going to be? Because I want to make sure that you're just, you're good. Do you want some croissants from me? <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Sorry. You just pagan. Oh, I didn't see you guys. Sorry. Yeah, no, and she, goes, she just never remembers to eat because of these meetings and stuff. But I'm glad that she's working hard. <laughs> well, listen, um, you never um, fail to, you know, find new ways to, you know, yep. show be us shameless. more about you. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah, and be shameless. Um, but this is episode seven of The Trinity. Um, smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and remember, um, you can listen on all your podcast on all your podcast platforms, and those are Google, Spotify, and Apple. Okay, I lied to you guys quite a few times saying you can get it on every single one. I lied. You can't. Yeah, <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. And and he just did a second ago as well. He went, you can get them on all your podcast platforms, and then name yeah. three. But you, so you, you, got, you got to let me say you got to let me say all of the ones you can is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, can we also um, can we also point out and uh, Flex won't get this reference and I was thinking about it when we were setting up and I thought at uh, being you know the kind of person I am I thought let's save it and let's not bring this up and change this. Do you not I think with the with the sort of backdrop that Flex has got going on today, KG, that he looks like Scarlet Witch? I was thinking that as well, you know, because of the horns, because she's got she's got oh, horns as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, don't, listen, this is what I mean about you, lot. Like, John Okai. Listen. Dan Kai. Yeah. You look Dan yeah, Kai. <laughs> no, I'm What's, <laughs> hey, I want this cell and cell from Dragon Ball Z as well. Like true. final four yeah, cell. True. Yep, true. yep, 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 yep. What color cell? Mm. What color cell? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say red and black. Brilliant. On point. What great <laughs> guess. Not red and black, is it? <laughs> it's a great guess. I think you've done brilliant there. <laughs> is it close? <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, well, cool. Um, right, but we have got a lot to talk about. Um, <laughs> we have got a lot. We have, I promise you. I promise you. We do. We are no, going well, to talk to about Man United. Like and... the podcast. We have to. We have yeah. to. Our podcast is different to a live show, bro. Like that's true. Um, well, can I can I start with this then? Yeah. Well, I've so I've done a lot in the last couple of days, and obviously, mm. I've made my feelings clear about this Liverpool game, right? Yes. And I done some like similar to what you're on KG about, like going Tesco or whatever and you're getting your thoughts or the long drives. You know me, I have a lot of long drives where it's just yeah. me in my head or me in the music or whatever. Yeah. So this week, in the lead up to this game, very early on, I decided that I don't care. I, like, I'm going all in. Like, all, 
but not just all in. I'm going back to the days, probably worse. And you go, ah, oh, flex, don't say that. Oh, the gym. I've done a mad. Like I've, I've, I've just shot the preview with AGT earlier on today. That's coming out tomorrow. I already made my feelings clear live on AGT DR on Monday. The worst time people as well. Yeah, and he didn't. No, but he didn't even need to. I, it was all me. The, I'm, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm telling you about my week. Monday morning, live on DR in front of 10K. Yeah. I made my feelings very clear because I decided before then what I'm going to be on this week. Morning good, good. shows. Morning shows, I've already just, I've said it. Recklessness. So, like, yeah, yeah, yes. So, what I wanted to talk to you lot about is, like, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I should have done that? Because I'm saying this is our only thing left for the seat. Like, it's our only thing. I'm parking all the pessimistic things of, like, oh, but our team and we're open to midfield. All that shit that we have to talk about every single yes. week. I'm like, yeah. I'm just going to be a 100% unequivocal you know what? fan. It's Flex. Old Trafford. Klopp's yes. on his way out, and I'm going to send him packing. So I said, no, not when or if we beat you. I said, I, I'm sorry, I said, not if we beat you, Alex. And all that. I said, we are going to beat you. I said, we're going to beat you 2 0. And I said, Flex. Rashford and Rasmus will score. Flex. If you lose, you, know you lose. Like I'll just hold it. Because I'm no, going to hold Flex. it anyway. I like where you're going with this one. And you know, when people are base jumping, yeah? yeah. I'm going to let you know right now. The same way you said you're going to start this channel, I'm with you, bro. I'm going to base <laughs> I'm base jumping and I'm jumping straight off as well, bro. Because absolutely, yes, Flex. Absolutely, bro. I don't even know. I'm not going into this one with any fear, bro. I get it. It's Liverpool. Biggest rivalry. But then you have to understand there's another big thing in the situation in this game. We're playing a team, yeah, whose manager's leaving. We're playing a team that's beating us 7-0. We're playing a team that disrespects us every single time they make a chance they get. We're playing a team that said we play anti-football in the last one and they're crying in their car because of the nil-nil. That's who we're playing. And I'm saying right now, yeah, I don't care. He's crying if... in his car! That's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care, bro. This game here is, this game is like... Winner takes it all. This is the game, bro. And I get it. There's Man City. There's other. There's another story to talk about at Man City right now. But Man United, Liverpool, this is the biggest rivalry in football. I don't like, that's it for us. Yeah. And we've learned this from Sir Alex himself. Sir Alex has indoctrinated us and told us, yo, this game here, you when the fixture this comes out, you look for Liverpool. Yeah, and that's what we used to do. Now we kind of willing, uh, we kind of don't want to see that game. But we're playing at home. There's exactly, no excuses. Bro. All the That's players insane. are back. There is flex. We can win that game. I'm with you as well. Rasmus Hoyland to score. Bruno to get a goal as well. And assist. I feel Free like Owen. I feel like this is where Owen comes in now. Well, no, well I've been I looking just... at the stats. I've no, seen the stats. No, no, and, you know, no, no, with us, Owen. I just, I just, well, no. I, I would have preferred, you know, when Flex said the actual players that are going to score i went okay well, we're going to rule that out of definitely happening then so that's kind of taken that what did you say well, two did you say two nil hoyland and bruno no three one three oh he's saying three one i and said what did you say rashi rashi and rasmus okay well that scenario is off the table well, that's, that's fine okay fine. Well, we can still win because what if flex is saying it's not going to come true that's like the judge so, the, so then we're not going to win then so also no no, no i didn't then. say that i didn't say I that said, kg kg's three, kg's three one can come true because he predicted something oh, the other week and he was right with that you were weren't you yes well, I what probably was, was wrong somehow. I probably, I mess up all the time. So listen, there's Which a list of that? things. You said like specifically, I think it was the West Ham one. You went like, I think we'll score three goals. I can't say whether we'll win or we'll lose, but three. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, three. Right. It was honestly, it was like a bad, bad sort of like palm reader or clairvoyant. You know when they're going, I'm getting a name <laughs> begins with a C, C. And I'm you go, and you go, and you go, and you go, and you go, Cliff, you go, yes, C. That's what it was. I'm getting three goals <laughs> in the game. In the game, and he was right. It was the same. It was the same. Every... <laughs> exactly. So KG saying three one, it's entirely possible. Not yes. what direction we don't know, but um, what was interesting yes. is uh, listen to Ericsson Hagen in the press conference uh, today, and oh, yeah, what was he like? All, I haven't seen it. Well, there were some very weird questions asked. There it. was there were some there were some questions like they really wanted him to talk nicely about Liverpool. You've been really impressed with Liverpool this season, haven't yeah. you? And it's like, <laughs> oh, wanker. Yeah, yeah, that, that that kind of stuff. No, and he didn't and he didn't do that. Um, but some things that he was asked about, which was quite interesting, was really this idea of sort of it being a catalyst for the rest of the season because circumstances have changed in like just the last twenty four hours. As much as you know, Flex, you were saying this week that. Uh, if we lose at uh, the weekend, like that's it. The season's done. We've got nothing else to fight for. It's over. At the same time, 
It's not totally the case now because what happened in Europe last night, fifth is very much on. So that top four, it's got it's got bigger flex. It has got bigger, yeah. so it's not yeah, yeah. it's not as remote as it once was. That's true. And That's also, true. there is it's such a cliche of anything can happen in the cup, but it is true. Like the cup form does sort of it's it doesn't relate to Premier League form. It doesn't relate to league form. It is different. So the fact that it's Old Trafford, it's in the cup, it's a one-off. I'm more positive about this game than I am for the Premier League game because Premier League form kind of just goes with type and you can kind of predict that. Cup, you never know. Like, you genuinely never know. And if we do win at the weekend, then, then it has to be a catalyst for the rest of the season. I mean, everyone is focusing, not necessarily on for us, but just in general, they're talking about the title race and they're going like, it's 10 games, like it's a 10-game race to see who that wins the league. Bad. And what United need to do is kind of look at a similar way of going, right, we've got 10 games to get into that top five and get something out of this season. We haven't played well all season. We've been really inconsistent. The fact that we're still in this race and we've got like, you know, we've had negative goal difference for the majority of the season, it's mad. The fact that we've faced, you know, it's only Sheffield United that have faced more shots in the Premier League and we're still in this race of getting something out of the season is mad. But that's an opportunity then. Take it. Take it. Let's Make the go. most out of it. Do you something sound with like it. You're base and, you sound uh, like you're with us. He is. You know, he's you know, doing, no, but he's doing it like. in an Owen you know way where like. he doesn't sound like us, but he's doing the same thing. You know, no, you know what I'm doing. Sorry, base jump. You know, I'm you know what I'm doing, yeah? You've jumped into the pool, right? You've you've jumped straight in, cannonball. <laughs> I'm sort of doing that sort of slowly going down the steps. Yeah. One leg's in. He's doing the Mr. Bean episode. Yeah, yeah my, one, my one leg's in. You know what I mean? I'm sort of slowly sinking down. Going like this. That episode's wicked. Eventually, eventually it's up to here. Eventually it's up to here. And I'm like this. I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. You're like, I didn't really get the sort of splashness. That I was looking for there, but you know, I'm with you. I'm with you. You're just lowering yourself in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I just I, I just saw it as like, nah, man, like this this fucking game, like, like at the end of the day, <laughs> it's, really it's been flex? honestly, like we <laughs> it's been such a crap season, yeah. This is if we lose, yeah, even if we lose like and it was tight or whatever, just just losing it to me, my head's in preseason. I swear to you. you can't do you still do feel like that? Do you still feel like that of if we yeah, lose, I spoke like, about well, on done, the, it's over? Well, I've done a segment this morning on the morning show about that fifth place, actually, to be fair. And I said that <laughs> there's two sides to it, isn't it? There's the side of like, bloody hell. I mean, you know, even putting in the fifth place to get to Champions League. I mean, they're just widening and widening. You're, like, you're so far off being a champion. Yeah, it's mad. Like, Stands on the floor. Is, 2024, Dangor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's mad. Like, that level of... You know what? you actually disgrace in the competition to have that level of mediocrity in it. Like, let's be real. <laughs> it's shameless. Really? Is However, it though? Because like, yeah, English teams is. have done so well that no, they deserve the no. extra spot. That's yeah. basically yeah. what's the We've same. done so well. We look so great. We've got a chance of win winning Europe. It's not our fault. This, it's in not this our fault. Form. That's but, not our fault. No, but the other, the, the other side. No, but let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. He's ruining it. That's, that was my You're first thought. That you, was you, my want first this, you want this guy base jumping with you, KG. That was my you know first thought. Yeah, you, we can't. Yes, all that base jumps with bad vibes. We could die. Bro, would, no one wants no, to hear that. What you call it? No. 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 Not when you're midair as well. This could go badly. Well, we've done it. Just take me off the stream then. Tell him again, Owen. Honestly, you'd much take rather me off. see. And he has the nerve to criticize me for oh, slowly going off. into the pool. You know what I mean? Slowly going in. Whereas just he's dived in and he's midair. He's going, is this the deep end or the shallow end? I'm not really sure if this was where you're going. Just take me off. Just take me off. Commit, bro. Thanks. I'm halfway. No, I'm you, halfway you through. Yeah, I still, haven't, I still haven't landed. I'm still I'm still on the flight path on the way down. But you just take me. I'll tell right, you what. Control tower. No, control tower. Tell you what. Flight Boeing 768. Yeah, from uh, from yeah. Qatar. Don't land here. We're not going to let you land. Just go. Just go. You're always Why on the flight path away down. Just go. <laughs> that that was an interesting. Why did you fly from Qatar? In the US. In the US. You've got a picture of Sheikh Jassim in UVHQ. So. Sources. Sources. <laughs> I'm hearing. All right, sorry. Um, go on. So, go on. Yeah, why are you trying to yeah. No, I've lost my train of thought now. It's fine. You guys carry on. All right, my turn then. Good. He's crying in his car. Yes. Don't worry about what, what uh, my other side to it was. Don't worry, it's fine. It's on the no, morning. If you I want to see it, it's on the morning ridiculous. show. It's on the morning show. I said it earlier. It's fine. Carry Brilliant. On. Don't worry about there you me. go. We don't repeat ourselves on this channel. No, I'm just gonna put myself on no. mute. Hold on. Exactly. One second. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Cool. 
No, hear me out, yeah, Flex. And again, this is delusion talking. Prime delusion. <laughs> oh, that's not good, though, is it, KG? You can't start off with that. I thought you were going to make a point. What? I mean, you're going to actually make a legitimately serious point. You start off going, going this is delusion talking. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and which, by the way, um, so that's the same way. That's the same way he answers the phone as well. He goes, "This is delusion talking." <laughs> this is, no, this is grade A delusion because, no, honestly, yeah, Man United. We had to go on a run of games, a ridiculous run of games where our the our counterparts have to drop points and we just have to continually win. You know, we need Aston Villa. I don't know how many points off Aston Villa we are. It's what eight. is it? Um eight points. It's not it's many, eight. but Man United had to be check. Check. Man United had to get to a stage where they had to be near perfect, have a, a perfect end of the season. Like going to run six, seven, eight, nine games, yeah, um, to to really secure Literally. ourselves. And and again, it'll be it's a delusional case for me to say we could go in and do that when the form table says, well, you can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? You yeah. look at the form table. And how I'm a six points behind Spurs, then, and they got a game in hand as well. Yeah, we're six points yes, off but... Spurs, eight points off Villa, and they've got a game in hand, Spurs. But Spurs have there those go, three games Spurs to play. Those shit. big games. Yeah, four, Spurs four are shit as well. And yeah. they just... And what? Yeah, they got nasty they got games. Four. They got so four. They got a Man game. United yeah, could yeah, get back into the conversation. We just need to give our, sp our space, ourselves space for a hiccup. Our space for uh, calamity at the back. Our space for, well, these players were out and they couldn't. We have to... And then how many games a dude allow that for? You know that. Well, we can't. There, we can't you know, allow that. Like, yeah, we can't. We don't have. We don't have that space. Cups, yeah, we don't. That's, that's the, the point. point. Yeah. To claw back the thing, that's, we've got to be near, pretty much flawless. Yeah. So that's why when I say this is delusion speaking, I say, look, <laughs> guys, we have to go on a, we have to so go on a super long run, and no, because I want the delusional side of my head that says, you know, I just support this club. How are you arguing with AGT when his team is one of the best teams assembled? You know what we're, we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about this. Can I just say side. something? <laughs> KG's just done. He's just done the exact same thing I did, just the, the other way around. I was just about I to ask no, him. I was, I, just yeah. to, I was just about. To, I was just about to go into him and say, "Well, do you believe that?" It's fine you saying this is yes. talking, but do you believe that? Yes, absolutely. So then it's not delusion talking from you. It's your I'm, opinion talking. <laughs> no, because it's like it's opinion without listening to your. It's my heart speaking. Instead of my head, it's my heart like saying we can so do this. Opinion, I love then. this club. I got and then and then, <laughs> then after wait, hold on. Guess what? And the reason why I tried to back this feeling up is because certain players are returned. Martinez returning, Rasmus returns, Mason Mount in the thing. We could do something miraculous. So I'm <laughs> I'm literally and then but do you also, believe it? Team <laughs> meeting <laughs> and the team meeting. I believe it. Wait, KG, no, wait, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 guys, wait. I, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking to KG on the phone this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I was on the train. I was on the train. Yeah. I was on the train. I was on the train. I thought, let me give KG that comedian a, a call just to make sure he's locked in for the time we need to record the pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. KG, I want you to share, like going into this Liverpool game, of why you think like there could be different tactics, a different approach. I want I want you to I want you to give us an insight into what you said to me. <laughs> I've got lots of insights, by the way, but um Oh. Have you seen the pictures of the team meeting? <laughs> There's a team meeting at Ivy. Oh, we and... listen to this shit. <laughs> That's Go out on. of order. Go all on. it tells me is, you know when they say he's lost the dressing room? He's got the dressing room because they all came to the meeting at the Ivy. And they all dressed what up in their really nice clothes. What did you clothes. say about the formation and that? What did you say? 3 5 two. Why? Someone's Why convinced me to play Why? He's a reckless delegate called in and convinced me to play it. Um, we deserve better actually. He, he's a regular member, he's always involved on United View. You always see him in the chat. He no, said, I, Look, yeah, three, five, no, but I mean, three, five, three, I'm saying, what did you say about the reason why like Ten Hag could change his principles and stuff? Like, why could he do that? You meet him because <laughs> they because they went out, <laughs> they went out. Of the they said to me, I think they could play three, five, two. I was like, I don't know if Rasmus is back. I think Eric would probably go back to like what was working before. I can't see him doing that. I was like, why do you think that? He goes, bro, you saw them, team meeting, they all went out. But I said, 
spot. So because they went to the Ivy, you think that means there's going to be new tactics? It's going to be too up. And you know, he said, what? were they discussing said, with the you know, were they discussing said, with the salt shaker? Is that what they were doing? Like this? You know what I mean? Condiments. Do you know what's funny? We said, what would Owen's reaction be like to oh, this TV God. in these? Now go home and, and smoke thought. some more crack. <laughs> kind of covers it. Kind of covers that one. Kind of covers that. <laughs> yeah, largely. He thinks that mad stuff's going to happen because they went for a team night out. I tell you what did annoy me about the team night out thing, though. This really bothered me. The Malassia stuff. Have you seen this? What? What, Because he was there? Because he because he wasn't involved in the picture. That meant that meant oh he he definitely wasn't there. And and then we get into this sort of social media overdrive of good. He wasn't there, so there's something worse. Why? What's going on? And then it it comes out goes no was there. He just wasn't pictured. They go oh. You know, this whole like Malassia's disappeared rubbish. It's like it's so like it's not because no, Malassia is Sheikh Jassim. Malassia is Sheikh Jassim. There's, oh, there's right. a conspiracy. Now I understand. Now I understand. It was KG, right? That, 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 got it. Makes makes more sense now. <laughs> no, there's a there's a rumor again that Malassia is Sheikh Jassim, and ever since he's <laughs> <laughs> ever since. Ever since you know, like the night, you know, remember 90 Foundation and stuff, and they opened up the company's house and all the other mm. stuff that happened, all that amazing stuff that we got excited about, and it's got quiet, and molasses got quiet. It's there. Hey. Makes you, makes you think. <laughs> makes you think. Hey, do you know how how mad it was when we lost our minds when they <laughs> they created the thing on company's house that was already there? Yeah. <laughs> And they ignored the information very quickly. They went, you can do that in the space of like an hour. They went, no, you can't. He went, oh, you can, because they did. And they went, no, no, no. Just, you just hate the Middle no. East. It's, they're going to buy exactly. the club. That's what you mean. Do you not want to see this club succeed? That's that's the one, isn't it? Going, you're not a real fan. <laughs> I know, I know, I know you're not a real fan. The Rashford thing this week, yeah? So he was asked about this in the press conference today, oh. uh, Eric Ten Hag, going, there's been some story about Marcus Rashford, like... With the way the FFP is kind of laid out, we've seen Chelsea utilising it, selling academy players. You get pure profit. What do you have to say on the rumours? And Ten Hag said, well, we wouldn't have given him a four-year contract if we had plans to sell him, would we? Very simple. Like, very, very easy. And as we'd said quite a few times this week, when you go, like, the, when you talk about that story, you're talking about it very hypothetically because it's not true. Like, he, he's not going to leave in the summer. But you go, well, but it, but if a bid came in of 75, 80 million, you have to think about it because it's pure profit. And people get angry when you go like, yeah, but it's not true. And they go, oh, you just don't get it, do you? Marcus Rashford's rubbish. We should be we should be selling him. You go, I don't have any part of this. Like, it's, it's not true. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it's not the not one me. putting Marcus Rashford up for sale. And when you do say that, you go, I'll tell you what I'm sick of, Flex, is this bloody channel's Rashford PR. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> Just because guess, it's the truth of the just because you, just, Yeah, just because you go, well, well it's, I tell you what, if, the, if, the, if that offer did come in, you'd have to consider it, but it's not true. They went, I'm sick of this PR. I'm sick of this. <laughs> what? What are we talking yeah. about here? Spin. And I feel, and, and I do, and I do sympathize with him in the extent of like, so now when we're playing Liverpool on Sunday, if he doesn't play well, then it's the, oh, just go to PSG, just go get out. And it's like, he's not going. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> they don't even want him. They don't yeah, even want him. They said that he's story. not going to sign Osman or something like that. He's he's not their number one target, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but like he's just not their number one target. So it is what it mm. is, you know. Yeah, like, exactly. I think it it was it was interesting to see just the um, response of just the the fans, you know. Like in terms of there is that thing where maybe some fans have just had it up to here with. Rashford, but then I heard another fan that came on and they offered a different type of insight. And I was like, Well, look, everyone at this club is having a, a not so good season, everyone is struggling. And why do we why are we in this era of as soon as a player like starts playing bad, he just shouldn't be here anymore? He should just be straight sold. It's like he's having a down season. Can't we just stick by the player and see him come out the other side? And then, and that, that was an argument. I was thinking, you know, we we do have a shorter, um, what do you say, a shorter yardstick yeah. in terms of supporting these players. And t- like, we just give up. Like, even for me, like, I took liberties. I was making songs up for Onana and that when he first got here. I didn't. Yeah, you, you were just through this hard time. Oh, yeah. I know, but that was, but disgrace. that wasn't even through. Yeah, that was like disgrace. instantly. Hey, hey Flex, you seen the video? Have you seen the video on UV clips of KG with that? 
what when he was outside the San Diego? No, this is honestly flex. So, what they've done is it's like a compilation of KG's chronology with Onana this season, and it's it's every single time he's flip flops. And and there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a there's a lot. Wait, (laughs) there's loads. Honestly, I know. I know. Have you you watched it? No, no, yeah. I'm not even really watching it. I'm not really watching it because I know it's (laughs) bad. I know it's bad because I I remember days when I was like, I'm gonna back him. I'm gonna give him time, and then it's like. (laughs) Next game. It's in the space of hours. No, it's not even the next game. It's in the space of hours. There's one of them where he starts it. I think it's Galatasaray away. He starts it by going, Andre, you know, I was wrong. I said he needed to go. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. And it goes two oh, hours later. It goes no. two hours later. And he goes, we've signed Carrius. Ah. Oh, we've signed, yeah. we've signed Carrius. <laughs> I won. Even earlier than that, even one earlier than that, he just like mid-conversation during uh, one of the match reviews, he goes, is Anana a fraud? <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy. I mean, like it's it's crazy. What is it? well, I, that's what I say. So I'm not saying I'm not putting myself above reproach when it comes to this situation in terms of backing players. Man, we just like he's having a. There could be something in Russia just having a downturn of a season like the rest of the team. The whole. Well, what do you say to people who push back against that and say it's not a downturn in just a bad season? It's like this is just his career. This this is what it is. It's one season on one season. Well, there's then like, you talk about the. Because my issue with that year is we forget. Are you looking for the keys, babe? In my pocket. Sorry. <laughs> no, because she's, she's been there for <laughs> bare times and she can't find them. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Why didn't what do you, you call it? Keys, Let's like it. somewhere on the, on, the, on the sort of the side where she could get them. And I ain't doing that. that. They're going to be in his so pocket or something, something where it shouldn't be there or. It's not going to be an organized place. Look, you know yeah. me. You are. I'm now he's thinking, do I have them? Wait, yeah, do I have well, them? Well, now he's thinking, I've said they're in my pocket. Are they actually in my pocket? <laughs> he doesn't. I've know. committed to. I've committed to they're in my pocket, and they're probably not. Look at his stupid face. Look, look. He has, now he needs to shit. They're where not, are they? Where did I put them? They're not in the. They're not in the I'm pocket. I'm telling books to go and get them. They're not where I said they was. I need to think right now. Critical thinking on the spot. Where are the keys? Look, see, yeah. see, he's got to pick it up. Look, he needs to go. Nah, he needs to go. Look, look. And, he's, and he's going to himself. He's going. We're recording oh, now. Oh, session. I... <laughs> look at the pressure. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do okay. with himself. See. Headphones off. He's like, shit, the keys. <laughs> See? His, oh, and this up, guy. His cracks hanging out as well. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening on the podcast, you have just missed KG look bewildered, not know where the keys are, get up with his builder's ass hanging out and try to <laughs> <try laughs> go find his keys. Proper Ramsey Nesbitt. <laughs> but, bear in mind, he just, he just guessed. He went, they're in my pocket and then realised they're not in my pocket. And you know what's funny? The point of the show as well, the bit where we're just talking about how he's just flip flop through yeah. his whole <laughs> night. <laughs> Why don't you know where your car keys are? Why? <sighs> every, every, like you said, Owen, it's true. When you like things with keys, house keys, car keys, like I know for security reasons, they say you shouldn't really leave them on the door on that bit there. But anyway, everyone has the place where everyone, the keys everyone's go. got a spot. Everyone's got a spot yeah. where they go. Like KG, yeah. he don't have no spot. No, spot by no, us. No. He's <laughs> flipping. They, he probably just changes it every single time, depending on where he's nearest to. Or probably where he falls asleep first or something like that. <laughs> I can imagine if he's like at home watching a TV or something, you put him there. See, I didn't even imagine that. Himself, I didn't imagine that. I imagine he gets through the front door. I think he just throws them in a direction. <laughs> and I will find them when, when, when needed. They will, they will, they will turn up. <laughs> You know, literally, we now don't have we because of him. Yeah, we now don't have the Trinity. This is There's no longer the Trinity podcast. This is this is now York and Cole or something. It's the duo. Like this is not. <laughs> like, he can't fight. He's an idiot. He can't fight. He's an idiot. This is called the Trinity. You can't not be on it. If they, bro, does he not realize that if one of us can't make this each week, we just don't we can't do it. Do it. <laughs> we can't do this show. There hasn't been a show where we go, it's the Trinity, but obviously Owen's not here this week. So, da, da, da. so it's... well, it's the Trinity, but Flex couldn't make it. So no, there just it's won't a, be a Trinity it's, that week. It's either the Flex and KG show, it's the morning view, or it's the KO show. Like there's no there's no You can't just not you can't just do what he's doing now. What he's doing now, you can't do. And the thing we are is, we're changing the viewers right now. And the thing is, genuinely, 
he can't find his keys. He doesn't know. Mate, <laughs> he's been recording for 30, 30 minutes now. This yeah. could go on for another... This could. He could be out. He, <laughs> he could be gone. The rest of <laughs> he could be gone, bro. He might not come back for the rest of the episode. <laughs> There's movement, guys. There's movement. <laughs> And again, for the for the podcast but, listeners, he just came back wide on eyes. The range, as, as, uh, as, as lot, to... On the range of on the range of how pissed off do you think one misses is? Oh my Let's god. Do Let's do a range. Let's do a range. How big is the range? Is it out of hundred or ten? Out of ten. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, by the way, your facial Which expression when you came 8. back. <laughs> yeah, when you came back and your eyes looked like you know flying saucers and you puffed out your cheeks, I'm gonna go it's a strong ten. <laughs> And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? What's no funny, which isn't actually funny, yeah, is the fact that yeah. she she knows he's on this silly podcast, just being silly with us, yeah. And she's yeah. heard him laughing, being silly, and there's a laughing. serious thing in the household that needs sorting out. Our daughter need we need to get this done. And you're on there being a buffoon and laughing yeah. on the thing right. while and I'm also, trying to sort out all did this. Did she shit. like five minutes ago? Did she walk into the room and you give her a little wave as well? And she came in. <laughs> No, 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 I wait to say bye. I wait, I wait to say bye to my daughter. Like, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Long Not knowing that they can't get to the car. <laughs> kept going oh. back and kept waving. <laughs> we can't leave. Wait, KG, can we ask you one thing before we move on? Can we ask you one thing? Yeah. Where were the keys versus where you thought yeah. they were? So could you dumb, could you commit it to your pocket earlier on and yeah. they clearly were not? I thought it was in my pocket. So remember, I came back. Remember when I came back and I goes, I got to record the Trinity. No one come in, I'm working. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was the thing I said. <laughs> and I put no, them in like family. you know when it says stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm recording the Trinity. I got these come boxes in. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I got to record the Trinity. No one come in. I mean, with Dango. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned Dango. You heard me say <laughs> So anyway, um, yes, yeah, so in a box called Stuff Things and, and, and it was in there. The Stuff and Things box. But I should never put it in there. There's a designated yeah, I area. Would never, yeah, I would never. We said that. Yes, I would never classify stone. car keys as Stuff and Things. Yeah, it should never have gone in that box. <laughs> so uh, why was it in there? Why, why was it in that. there? Why was it in there? wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking and i've definitely and you know i'm to blame here because there's two in it there's two keys in it and she knows i'm responsible for both of them so i don't know like, oh there's, no just, wait why don't you keep the other said. key what so they were both no, in stuff and things i had i've had the i've had both keys at one point surely why they go in a jar i basically uh, i forget and i put them in uh. my pocket you're a disgrace. You're just. A I'm hard to This is true because I remember when lipish. when we um when it was UV's hundred K party, KG left oh. and left his keys with no way of getting home, and then had to go nah, back and I, get did them. I drive. The... I didn't drive. No, no, I didn't but drive that. It was it was house keys. I was, I was drunk. It. There was house I'm keys. Yeah, it was, it, it, yeah. It was it was it was all of his keys. And I, on the journey home, he realized, and someone was driving him home. Stop he went, in. "I don't can't I can't get in." And then he had yeah. to go back to the venue the next day, <laughs> pick up his keys. Like, and that's not the first time he's done that. He's and done he's that. ringing me early in the morning when I'm tired, hung over from the thing. Flex, have you, I remember. you rang them though? Have you rang them? Mate, I'm fucking, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling here. The thing's not even open. They're packed up and gone home. All right, but as soon as they... Look, soon as they everyone's got limitations, mate. Know. Look, every, listen, everyone's got their flaws. I'm, I'm, a, hard person to, I'm a hard person to live with. You know, but then I and make up is. for that in I make up for that in personality. <laughs> Correct. What I was gonna say, because we was halfway right, through man. the Anana thing, right? She's, she's what stopped. I was what I wanted to ask. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, yeah. And the best you better is, make sure dinner's <laughs> cooked when she gets back or something. Before Do we something. started, before we started, that when we started, he went, I'm in a silly mood today. Too right. Yeah, yeah now look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you were in now a silly look at him. Yeah, good. Right. Look at you. Yeah, you're yeah. not so silly yeah. now, are you? <laughs> Not so bloody Laughing. silly now, are you? That's, that's, that's his <laughs> excuse. <laughs> his wife goes, why did you do that? I'm just in a bit of a silly mood today, you know. No. no. Yeah. All right. All right, less on me. Let's get back um, to Man United. Yeah, yeah, basically what I wanted to do, well, well, you say less on you, but we were in the middle of your story. So mm. but what I wanted to do... I can't finish to take the story. It, to take, well, actually, yeah, yeah. finish your story. Finish your story. Because it was about the Anonymous oh, thing. Oh, oh. finish. Yeah, I think I finished that. Okay, cool. What I was going to bring up in that moment is to, to bring it away from KG and bring it to all of us. 
Thank you. Is we're laughing at KG because obviously he's had a stinker. He's flip flopped. He's done this. What I wanted to do is just have a period of honesty, and you lot in the comments, and you lot listening as well. Just in in this, uh, you know, journey that we've all been on in fan media and stuff. What yeah. comes to your head if I say to you, what's some of the maddest stuff you've said where you've gone, nah, I was way off with that. Like just bad takes. Oh, and I know you don't commit to a lot of stuff, so it's a bit, it's a bit different with you because you don't really. But even for you, think of something where you're like, yeah, I mean, even if you thought it and didn't say it, like, just share. Let's yeah, start sharing some I, of I'm our not, bad ones. I can ones. start. I can start. Is this I a safe remember. space, though? Is this a safe space? Yeah, it's a safe space. That's what, and that's cool. it. Obviously, we want to laugh at each other, but it's yeah. a safe space. It's a safe, I, I can remember. I, you vividly, vividly, I can remember this. I was, uh, I was coming out of the gym, and I was, was on the phone to Flex. This was an honest stream. Um, but I was coming back, and I said, I'll tell you what, Flex, yeah. Ralph Ranick. Even the they know the sirens are going. They're coming to arrest me. <laughs> is this bad? And uh, and they were. Like, I was said to Flex, I was like, yeah. I went. Ralph Rennick. I went. I think he's the one. You know. I went. I went. I went. He's going to turn Man United around. He's going to be here for like five, ten years. He's going to be the one. Dude, I don't remember now, that phone call. Is that what you said? Yeah, I did. Why did you say and, it? In what context? Have we just beaten Palace one 0 or something? You thought, yeah, this. Is yeah, I think happened. maybe there was one game, and I think it was just a case of maybe coming out of the gym. I was euphoric. <laughs> the endorphins were really strong. I think there maybe was like pre-workout involved in that as well, so caffeine. And um, I, think I probably had the jitters, you know what I mean, when I was on the phone. It just, yeah, that wasn't good. But I can hold my hands up to that. I can hold my hands yeah. up to that. Uh, one of, I've had a lot. One of mine, the, one of the most closest ones is, is the Amrabat one. But because I've spoke about it quite a lot, I'll leave that one. Uh, I'm going to back a bit rice. forever. Just to not uh, mention it's the, it. It's the rice mention one. It. It was the don't rice one. It. No, it's, it's actually it. the rice one. It's oh, actually going to be the rice one. Rice. You're going to. All right, all right, we'll do it for the. All right, because I've got more, but I will do these two first. <laughs> and both you. I've got loads. My one is so the Deccan rice one was crazy, because at the time it weren't that just crazy. Just remind people. Just remind people so for it because it was it it's... was it was about what was that KG about three years ago now or four? It was a while ago. Yeah. Maybe maybe about maybe about. It was on United View, innit? it? It was early doors yeah. United View. Early yeah. doors. Owen and KG were both still here then, though. But it was really early doors United View. And we've I said, been. and everyone wait, was like... Wait, wait, mate, hey, we've, we've always been here. No, Owen, like, for like two weeks, like three weeks, wasn't here. Yeah, right at the start, weeks. it wasn't here. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, it was super, super early, yeah? Yeah. And um, on one of the shows, people were like, yeah, you know, Man United should be looking to get Deck and Rice. You know, don't care how much it costs. And I just got fed up. I was just like, Declan Rice, at the end of the day, how much better is he than McTominay, though? How yeah. much better is he? Yeah. How, like, he's physical. Yeah, he gets a couple of... If anything, McTominay probably get more goals than him. Like, yeah, is he, is he, is he 75 million difference? How much better, than, how much more better is he than, than McTominay, you said? Then he said Amrabat should probably, will probably be a better signing than Declan Rice. He said that this season. John, Don Robbie told me. Yeah. I didn't say yeah. that. You did. I didn't. You've just made that up. I'm not lying. I wish I had my phone. When did John Robbie tell you that? Call him right now and say, "What did I say about?" He's in Dubai though. He's he's he's. Don Robbie says a lot though. No, I don't. Yeah, he makes stuff up as well. He does do that. I remember when you told me. Yeah, this is the same guy. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you told me But he was like, so uh. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I was copying Arteta in the middle of Times Square. I was like, that's that's bold. That is very bold of you. Middle yeah. of Times Square. That and Times Square clip didn't go our way though. When we think oh, it, no, no, no. Like, it was in the, that's another thing we, we got completely mudded. We totally. <laughs> well, there's one. There's one. Uh, KG. I don't even know if you've seen this. The like end of season party over the summer. KG's holding court around the table because as he does. And yeah. he's probably had some rare nephew at the time, yes. which apparently yeah. is a drink, not two persons. You live and you learn. Yeah. And <laughs> KG's telling everyone around the table going, Arteta's going to be the first to be sacked this season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yeah. going to go. He's going to be sacked this season. They're not even going to get top four. That's it was very... That's not even a the, the match thing. Like, because there's a... There's no, a it's, there's filmed. A... it's filmed. It's filmed. Oh, it's filmed. man. It's filmed. Okay, cool. Yeah. There's the yeah. dossier. There's, there's chapters of the dumb stuff I've said. Like literally, I quickly, I quickly go through some of them. Um, one signing away um, from winning the league. Oh, um, the one sign. No, oh, wait, like, don't go no, away. And now got, carry on. we got into no, such a big argument on. about that after one of the yes. games. I remember. I can't remember what game. It might have been Villa last season away, 
And afterwards, we were like, so KG, he's saying that one striker away. Because that's what it was, one striker, one away. striker away. And KG, adamant, adamant that it, well, one striker, striker away. I felt yeah. good striker. Um, so there's that one. And then there's um, after we saw Ronaldo play um, at, was it Newcastle? First game of the season, yeah, mum was there. Home. Yeah. Well, well no, it's about third or fourth game of the season. Yeah. But it was his Ronaldo's first league. game. Ronaldo's first game. We're going to win the league. I left that stadium. It was rocking. The Ronaldo chant was going. Yeah, well, like crazy. everything was there. I, and I was going to be honest. Be honest here because you didn't just say the league that day as well. Everything. You said, yeah, you said Champions League, everything. You walked off. You said, That's Mbappe. It, your quote, quote, you said, Mbappe who fam? And then walked off. <laughs> Because that's, that's, fa- that's your favorite emoji, so you decided I'm gonna do the walk off. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, uh, remember after, I remember after Arsenal when Anthony scored, you said, How much should we pay for him? And we said 80 million quid. You went, We didn't pay enough. Nah, you're a prick, KG. You, you've got the worst ones. <laughs> no, there's got those, the nah, worst I've, got, ones. I've got so many that it's gonna be ridiculous. Um, there's loads, there's there's probably more. Let us know in the let us know in the chat. <laughs> yeah. This is, got, this is pure yeah. UV clips ammunition, isn't it? Because then yeah. they do these things. It's Listen, I, yeah. them. But it's then all, again, uh, I regret none of it. Don't you? Except the Anthony one. <laughs> do you regret, I, I regret that none of it? No, I regret none of it. Because and, I was, right. It's sometimes, you know, in this life, bro, you just got to be like, it's, it's fandom. You're a fan. That's the one thing I always say to people like, bro, I get it. Obviously, there's the for the like the football brainiacs and geniuses, and that you know the tactical maestros and stuff that break down and understand the game to the highest level. You know they're doing something different. I just know I support Man United, love the club, and I'm gonna think they're gonna win all the time. That is you know true. Saying? That is true. And I I don't what I don't like nowadays, and you do see this a lot on social media too. Is like this kind of idea that if you make an opinion on something or you give your opinion on something, like it's not allowed to change ever. You know, that that mm. kind of how rigid it is to me doesn't make a lot of sense because as you get more information, of course, your opinion's going to change. It's going to vary. Like whenever anyone makes a signing, most of the time you go, oh, I really hope it does well. You get really excited. because That's what signings are. And mm. then several years down the line when they haven't worked out, oh, yeah, you look foolish. But the, the, the people are the biggest fools of May night for buying them in the first place. It's not the fans fault for getting Absolutely. excited, is it? Absolutely. So, your opinion, I hope your opinions are allowed to change or whatever. I mean, so certain stuff, like if it's proper, proper mad stuff, then that's when you sort of go, well. Wow, I don't even think when there. you say, when you like the J, my thing is, you don't want to be jaded about signings, but I'm getting to that point where I've spent so many times trying to be excited about, like, obviously comps and this stuff. I remember watching the Anderson comp and I was so excited about the play that I was getting. And I've done that with many a players thinking, oh, you're going to be the piece. I, I couldn't stop watching Jaden Sancho comps. That was the one, because yeah. you lot seen... Yeah, when he was on what, his way, yeah. Recently, yeah. and I don't know if what you lot's reactions are to him saying he doesn't want to come back and stuff, but I mm. was I couldn't wait to sign Jaden Sancho. I thought, Same. again, him, Ronaldo, all those pieces, we're finally going to have the same time. We've got them on the right-hand the side. We're finally going to have a right-hand-sided player that wanted to, obviously, wanted to play on the left. But the excitement now to what we got, down now, you add Amrabat to the thing. I thought Amrabat was going to be sensational at this club, and it hasn't worked out. I don't know if I was on Amrabat. I did remember saying at the time, like, we got to be a mm. bit careful of, like, the, the, the way that people were saying, like, as if, like, he was the saviour, he was going to come in and just fix everything. You sort of go, well... No one player is going to do that, particularly Amrabat. You know what I mean? So that that one you kind of push back on a little bit. But like I said, I think it's just, you know, with fans. You do you think we have to be, do you think like, and this is this is to maybe us in this space, like, because we create content as United fans. So it's like, we do, we do like cross a border of like, we, we become half journalists, half fans and like, but we are fans and stuff like that. Do you no think like we we need to be? Do you think we need? Huh? So no one should trust me yeah. as a journalist. I just think that's no, wrong. No, no, exactly. No one. That's yeah, absolutely. But do you feel like sometimes we can forget like the fan in us because because we, we do like content every day about Man United, right? So you're aware of like stats, and you, you're either going to the games or you're covering every single game so intensely. Yeah. You're around all the interviews, so you know all the quotes, and you do all this. Do we sometimes forget to be like unequivocal fans or like 
it's just just KG part doesn't. of like what we do. KG so. does it. KG's the other way. Like KG's. Yeah. Can I say that comment that came on your channel the other day, KG? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so so a comment came up on KG's channel and was basically like KG's ball knowledge is zero, and KG went, mm. yeah. <laughs> you went, yeah. You went, like you basically sort of say, you went, if that's what you're coming for, then you've come to the wrong place. Come yeah. to the wrong place. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan that happens. People actually it's listen your to opinion, me yeah, it's I just say my opinion, and it's and the killer is it is, and that's is, as long as they know, yeah, it should come with a warning message like wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is <laughs> strobe lighting. Yeah, <laughs> strobe lighting. Home. Illusion, <laughs> home school. Strobe anywhere. comments. Fashion, <laughs> strobe commenting. And it's just, I'm excited. I'm an exciting fan. I'm excited fan. And obviously, every now and then, I'll look at reality. Like today, I was talking to Uncle, yeah? And he was saying, listen, the he was trying to talk about the Liverpool game and why we shouldn't be excited because Man City a team, one of, we'll say probably one of the best teams in the last how many years, yeah, suffocated. They couldn't, yeah. they couldn't, they couldn't get out against the side that we're playing next. Man City could not play their brand of football with those. Yeah, but, that, but you can't say it because that, that was at Anfield. When, when Liverpool went away to Forest, it was a close game and they won it in the last second. When Liverpool went away to Luton, Luton could get out and they had to get a win, a, a, a equalizer yeah. in the last second. Like, you can't, that's a fair argument. That's a that's a good pushback argument. But I'm saying that there's been a lot of those moments, and you know, like it, even that, like today, oh, it was horrible. I was sitting there, and it was the Champions League draw, yeah. and again, guys, did late to the you? party. Did it, did it bother you? Yes. It didn't, Do you know really why? Bother me. It didn't really bother me. Do you know why? The reality of City winning a double triple double treble is the scariest thing, and it's it's close. We're not well, the far. thing I tried to tell you about a few months ago when I was like, yes, we need to wake up while. and smell the coffee. It took me a while That's because great. the hater, it took me a while. I, remember, I think I've changed my mind two weeks ago. It's, it took me a yeah. long time for you lot to finally indoctrinate me in understanding Arsenal need to win the league. Yeah. Um, but it's real now. We're at a point where they have Real Madrid. If we just go by how it looked before, they can deal with Real Madrid. They're not yeah. afraid of this tie. Now we look at the, the FA Cup, and in the FA Cup, it's they're playing who, Newcastle. They've got yeah, Newcastle, Newcastle at home. They're going to beat them, Newcastle, so they'll get to Wembley. The semi-finals, yeah? yeah? When they get to the semi-finals... It's going to be either us or Liverpool. There the you go. Threat. Or Chelsea. Now, Chelsea probably beat Leicester. There you go, yeah? So then it's, it's, it becomes... Pro and then in the league, there are a point off it, yeah? A point off it with 10 games to go. They can go on a run, as Gary Neville likes to remind us. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten games is what it's going to need as well. Ten games? They're still on a run now. They ain't lost in ages. Yeah. But I wasn't really <laughs> I wasn't really thinking of it like that in the sense of, of what City can do. Because like Flex has kind of said, that reality's always been there. It didn't bother me in the sense of I didn't have a fear of missing out looking at that draw because... You just didn't deserve to be a part of it. There was no like Man United won once in the Champions yeah, we're not League good this enough. season. Yeah, like it was not near that. It, like oh, we just missed out. Oh, good. And even watching the games like the Arsenal game this week or whatever, or watching the Inter Atletico one, there was not this fear of missing out because we were never in it. And even if we had got through, there kind of was just an acknowledgement of we wouldn't have got past that round because we haven't, we haven't been good enough. The fear of missing out for me when it comes to the Champions League is more next season. When the format's changing and you've got that league format, you want to be part of something new, don't you? That's what you want United to yeah. be involved in. And, and with a big summer ahead, you know how important that is going to be. It's like, that's that's the sort of worry that I have of, of missing out. But looking at that, I was kind of like, I, I was happy that um, City got Madrid because I know they beat them last year, but Madrid are better than they were last year, I think. You know, and they've got big mm. game players. And it's just the Champions League, isn't it? So um, Real Madrid, that's what they do in the Champions League. But as far as, like, the worry of what City could do in the Champions League, I mean, that was their last season, wasn't it? That's, that's what we've been saying. When City won the treble mm. last season, and people are like, I can't believe it's come to this. It's like, well, we had some very near misses. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then the double, get the what the killer is. Liverpool getting the nearly getting the quadruple, like, and we and we celebrate. And we go ah ha ha in your face. But you go, but they nearly did it, and the, the fact that they nearly did it, like, we can't, you can't keep getting away with that forever. Eventually, it's gonna happen. But then, uh, uh, no, I don't believe any club. You see, when you do something historic, you see like how Arsenal have the Invincibles, and that's like a that's like something that shouldn't be replicated. Really, you don't you you can't imagine it. It'll be a like a an amazing story. This situation that you have with um with City, no, I can't see no team 
doing back to back trebles. Like I can't see it. Like that's I don't even that domination. It's not we're not going to have a like of it again. Even with all the other teams getting more money and stuff, and yeah. when probably Pep steps down because Klopp is now we're ending the Klopp era. So this could be this is mental. This and that's when I said delete football. You get to a stage. Remember when I said on the thing, if something like this happens, delete it, bro. What are we doing now? Now no club in world football can deal with this with this juggernaut. Do you think it will me. happen though? Do you think it will happen? If you were if if you were to break, predict them doing it again, do you think it will happen this season? Maybe it's, maybe it's sort of me it's being not arrogant, got... but I lean towards just no, just a sense of like it's it's absolutely possible. Mm. Might get a but double, do, but would they but get another treble? Towards no, just being like as we've I seen, think... we would do treble. A lot does have to kind of go your way, doesn't it? You know. Mm. But then it's well, just, and I think yeah, Liverpool. It's... I think Liverpool as well will just have something to say about it. To be honest. I really do. But even that and obviously, oh, I'm even it, like of course it does. It, it does. But if they won, if Liverpool won the league, that would be their 20th title as well. And Liverpool that's them the equaling, league. that's them equaling that's our Liverpool titles. That. And that, so that's, that's a no-go for me as well. And it's like, if, obviously I've predicted we're going to beat Liverpool um, in the FA Cup. So, you know, they're not going to win the FA Cup in my head. But essentially, if we didn't win that, I think Liverpool got a really good chance of winning the FA Cup as well. Like in terms of, you know, they've went, to, they've gone to Old Trafford. If if they would, if they get to Wembley, they would have gone to Old Trafford, beaten Man United, gone to the Emirates, beaten Arsenal with the kids. Like they'll, they're just immovable. It's like, pff, oh, and they ain't, they ain't lost in a while themselves as well. Like they lost against Arsenal at the Emirates in the league, but like they're still just knocking on all the doors, finding all the last minute winners, dealing with the injuries, playing the youth. The big players are stepping up. There's something possessed because it's Klopp's last season as well. And it's like, I do see what Owen means of like, okay, City got this mammoth task of doing the treble, but they're up against Liverpool in the FA Cup slash league. You know, obviously we're hoping they're not up against them in the FA Cup because we want to beat them. But really, who's got the best chance? And this is me doing the well, thing that there are strong opposite teams earlier. left. There are strong teams left in mm. all of those competitions, aren't mm. there? Like, you look at the league, exactly. like I said, it's more... There's more challenges than there were last season because it's a three horse race as opposed to a two. When it comes to the FA Cup, you do look Arsenal at the teams going left. Away. You look at the teams left, and you go, there are still strong teams in that competition, too. You look at the Champions League in particular, as boring as it has been, the, it was almost setting up this quarter final round where you go, well, everyone in the team, everyone's left in is pretty strong. And their path to the final now, it's Real Madrid and then the winner of Bayern Arsenal. And you go, well, that's a, that's a tough run there, isn't it's it, to the final run, as well? Yeah. So, and then on, on the other side of the competition, you've still got, you know, Barcelona, et cetera, those people in there too. So I do think, like I said, you do have to, a lot just kind of have to go for you for that to do it. I don't, look, it definitely well, could. Don't you um, miss it though. Don't you like, there was a little course, moment today. Course, yeah, I was like, it sucks having games that mean nothing to the league table. Like I remember like the years of uh, this, you know, like Super Sunday, you see if Man United yeah. were playing Arsenal, yeah. Yeah, that oh. was almost like a title decider. Or mm. Man United playing anyone Super Sunday was defining how, or just how many the race, just, just how the race, it, yeah, just the race involved in playing. Oh, like, like we're gonna we're gonna play first, and we win, we go top, and then Arsenal got to play, and then they or Chelsea got to play, and then if they win, they go they go above us again, or they go level on points. So that kind of nip and tuck, we just haven't yeah. done that for ten years. No, we haven't, years. Years. we haven't been a part of that for ten, 10 years. No. That's no. a really long time of. And doing that all the time, going from doing that all the time to not being in the conversation anymore is mad. And I just can't even remember like, the last time he was on top of the league, at the top of the league. COVID. COVID, COVID season, we went top. Well, we, we topped we, for a bit. Oh, right. Yeah, we played, I think it was Wolves at um, Old Trafford and we scored late. Went I think top. it was Rashford and we went top. Oh, and, yeah, and I remember that. When and, we were, and, we were, goal, and everyone was like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And did that make us like, go top of the league, did it? Yeah, we were top. Did I make it a bit more depressing? Did I make it a bit more depressing? I can't remember us having positive goal difference, like plus, plus 20, plus, plus something <laughs> mental. You know, like a big number, like, like something they, like plus 30 of. something and all that stuff. Something yeah. they could be proud of, like, look at our yeah. goal difference right now. If it goes to goal difference, remember saying, <laughs> I'm arguing saying, look at the goal If it goes to goal difference, we could win the league. I can't remember, <laughs> like, because we don't score. We don't score. No, but in just general, in many seasons, we don't score a lot of goals. Well, remember this, KG. When that the with the Aguero season and that City win that title, uh, didn't they win it on goal difference that season? Right. Yes. They went on goal difference, and um, 
And did Sir they? Alex Ferguson at the end comes oh, out and points? goes. No, was no, I don't think they did. No, they won it on points. They won it on points. Was it, was it one point? I, I think it might be one or two points. I don't think it was goal difference. But the point thing is, Sir Alex comes out afterwards and goes like, that will never happen again. And we signed Robin Van Persie to score goals. And that's what we yeah. did. Because even then, well, like, that was a problem, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this, it, we just need to, like, and that's why I'm excited about them trying to fix the team. Because I'm not going to make it doom and gloom. But I was excited about hearing there's going to be a real cash injection. Goal difference. Um, it was on goal difference. It's goal difference. It's goal difference yeah, that day. Goal difference. Yeah, they beat us on 89 points. We both finished on their goal difference was 64. Ours was 56. Because I remember him coming out after the game, Sir Alex, and went, "Congratulations to Man City." And when asked about the goal difference, he was like, "I won't happen again." And how do you stop that happening again? How do you stop that happening again? How do you stop that happening again? You go sign top goal scorer in the league that season. He probably knew by that point we were getting Van Persie. That's, that. that's probably when it would all. That's what you do. <laughs> and also, yeah, that's and also, say, KG. not only, yeah, not only <laughs> signing a striker, but when you bring him in, you go, "This is how." By the way, we're changing how we play. You say to everyone, yeah. you sit him down and go, "Get the ball to him, Rooney." Yeah, yeah. I know you score goals, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Get the ball to him. Person. When Rio, the when Rio said person. that, I can't remember what episode of Five it was or on some other platform. When he said that, he went. The gaffer just said, "Get the ball. You pass it to him. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you do. Do you know what kind of confidence that would do for a player? Though? No, but, no but you, yeah, but also the, do you know what it takes to go into a dressing room and tell big, big man like like that people like that Rudy, one stuff, that one stuff. Yeah, like pass to him. Give it to you. Listen, it's not about you, him." Give yeah. and then Rudy, but but you know how elite it is for them man to understand the assignment and put the egos aside. Big players yeah. like Evra and and Giggs and Skulls and flipping yeah. all of them and all of them. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And say, all yeah. right, boss. Premier League I'm years. Really I'll but be then... chief provider. I'm gonna be chief yeah. provider. Watch what I do. And and Katie, like you're saying, I mean, your thing with like with Arsenal, yeah. Some they're like, mm. what? Some guy from Arsenal's coming in. You're telling me that I've got to stop doing what I'm doing. Could you imagine that happening yeah. today? We sign yeah. someone from like another Premier League club, and they go, by the way, right, change everything. You know, give the ball to this guy. The egos of some of the players at the club, but like, I'm not. Oh, you, you, but you know, me. but you know what? When you never. say that, guys. So when you say that, the difference is you're still looking at a club with the old lens on because the yeah. egos make sense because they're winners. Our yeah, team, yeah, they're supposed there to should be no egos. If we bring in a, a super player, he'll be like on a level that none of them lot can relate to because these lot haven't won anything really. Yeah, but they don't operate like that. We've seen that they don't it don't operate. But we've had no, Ronaldo. I'm saying ego definitely. has to make sense. Ego has to be it's got ego's got there's got to be a relativity to the ego. What have you yeah. won? When they say well, but also the manager though, because it was so Alex telling them this. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, but I'm talking about in the Man United dressing room, like today, as it stands yeah. right now. Who in there has got major honours? Major honours. Varan Casemiro. There he goes. Yeah. But then it's low. Like before, you could look across and say, Premier League medal, Premier League medal, FA Cups. Like there'll be many in there. So I don't think the Eagles can match up. All they're doing is getting paid a high wage. That's all interesting, actually. Just looking at like that table. So like 89, 89, and we lost a goal difference, yeah. Next season, it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna. That's never gonna happen again. We're gonna bring the same guy in. We got the exact same amount of points the season after, and we actually our goal difference is worse. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we won the league. That's but amazing. it's clutch. That's ma- it's clutch that's matches, amazing. isn't it? It's clutch moments. Yeah. Like you know, Van Persie scored last minute in the derby at the Etihad that season. What's like that's it, yeah. that's that's what it's about, isn't it? So it's yeah. interesting. But just to KG's point, that season that we won it last, our goal difference was plus forty three. Scored 86 goals. Don't you Plus miss. 43. Don't you miss. And now we can't scrape zero. <laughs> yeah. We can't in and yeah. out of that deficit, bro. We keep going into the recession, and season bro. before, it was plus 56. Plus 56. 89 goals. What was it last I season? It. Um, I don't think it was super high last season, was it? No. Was it like 12? But, our, but, defensive, but defensively, we were really good, weren't we? So. Yeah, that's what I mean. I we don't think we conceded that many goals. Well, just how many goals did we score last season? Let's have a look. Uh, last season, our goal difference was plus fifteen. We scored fifty-eight, conceded forty-three. So, like, yeah, and we had like, the most clean sheet, and then David Hay exactly. got the golden glove. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make that makes sense. It just, it just shows you. Had, pro- yeah, the seven-nil against yeah. Liverpool. You but know. also, what I was saying, what I've been thinking about is like the goals conceded is usually about par with a lot of every, like everyone else. It's the goals scored we're always far behind, isn't it? 
What was it at the end of the last season? What was the what was our goals conceded versus like City, Liverpool, Arsenal? Yeah, I got well. The goals conceded. City had thirty three. Arsenal had forty three. We had forty three. Newcastle had thirty three. And Liverpool had forty seven. So we were in. See what I'm saying? You know, in yeah. the range, but goals scored: Liverpool seventy five, Newcastle sixty eight, uh, Arsenal eighty eight, City ninety four. We were on fifty eight. <laughs> City nearly got double the amount of goals we had, and all of that was probably one man Harland. It was goals. <laughs> we got Wait, score. hold on. What was our goal? What, how many goals did we score? 54? 58. How many did Harland get all last year? Didn't he get 50? He got like, yeah. In all comps. And he got like over 30 Prem. <laughs> what we got to do though, because even right now, it's really alarming that what? our top goal score is still McTominay, innit? So we have to sort that out. Like we have to. Bro, it's nearly Rasmus, some... isn't it? It's nearly Rasmus. He's nearly they're tied. Ready. They're tied. Oh, yeah. they're tied. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, Rasmus is going to sort that out tomorrow, or is that just Prem? Is that Prem? Uh, it's Prem. Um, all comps. Yeah, I think all, it's all, now. All comps. All comps. It's Rasmus. Rasmus is yeah. It, Prem. Like Premier League. Or Premier, yeah. Isn't? Premier League. It's McTominay and um, yeah. and Rasmus. There yeah. you go. Listen, guys, episode seven of the Trinity. Not ended on a bit of a depressing note, but can we finish on a bit of a bigger note? Do you know what happened, yeah? Ever since my missus and the key situation, I think you changed the tone of the pod. <laughs> well, yeah. that, that sounds like a you problem, KG. I think that sounds like a you problem. You know yeah. I mean? I've brought um, down the spirit. I've brought down the energy. Finish it on yeah. some... Okay, lift us up then, KG, to sort of see us out. Lift us up. Had, all right, cool. Listen, think about it, guys. They had the team meeting at the Ivy. 3-1, Man United. Let's go. Didn't really I've, lift I've me. Said it. I've said just, it. I'm just doing the fandom, guys. This is all we've Great got left show. for. <laughs> Old Chafford will be rocking... We will beat Liverpool because we have to. That's what I'm on. I like that. I just don't want to hear Flex saying Fuck off. at the weekend. I just don't want that. Can happen. And I tell you now, I tell you now, I've I've laid it all and I've laid it all down. So if we lose, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be vexed. I'm gonna be in a bad, bad place. It's gonna be worse than that, mate. It'll be worse than oh, that. I tell you that for now. Kind of flex it's gonna be, but we're oh, not gonna, I'm see gonna it. be bad. Win this game. I'm not gonna see it. I'm not gonna see exactly. it. Exactly. Um Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And again, remember to check it out on uh, podcast platforms such as Google, Spotify, and Apple. Those three. <laughs> and we'll see you on episode eight of the Trinity. Take care, yeah. guys. See you later. Peace. Bye.